All right, here's a real quick look at uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bad guy, Louis Black, um, also known as Spider Bites, as Mikey named him in the show. Um, now, he's, he's a very neat design. He's, a, he, he, he's very faithful to, to the character design on the show. Um, you'll, he he kind of looks like a, like a turnip with spikes, uh, or like a mandragora, is, is what I think when I see him. Not necessarily a spider, but uh, Spider Bites is the name Mikey gave him. Um, and, and, and he looks okay. What uh, nobody has prepared me for is that he's uh, he's very hollow. You pick like he looks like a solid chunk, and he and he is um, a, a, a pretty decent shaped figure, but he's he's hollow inside. He's like you know when you open up that chocolate bunny on Easter, and you're like, look at that giant chocolate bunny, and then it's hollow. Um, it doesn't affect his stability. He's still got some neat. Uh, you know, he can stand okay. Um, he, he's a nice representation visually of the character from the show, but. Um, but yeah, he's hollow. He's very light. Um, his articulation is like is very limited. He's got a little hinge swivel here at each shoulder, and then uh, there's a limited ball joint up here at the top of the legs. And the legs come packaged separately. You have to actually uh, I don't even want to. They they come packaged behind him in a separate little blister thing, and you have to uh, snap them in, which can be a little scary. Um, and then there's a there's a, so there's a limited ball joint up here that allows them to move. Um, as well as a hinge up here that allows them to move. I would have liked maybe an extra hinge. At the very least, if he, if he's going to be so unposable, I would have liked an extra hinge maybe up here at the at the fang part of the uh, the thing. These are set up in the uh, in the order in which they were packaged behind him. But you probably could, if you'd rather have one of these in a different position, you can hook them around and swap them in the ball joints. The ball joints down here are all the same size. So yeah, very hollow, very. Uh, not 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 super poseable. Neat. Um, if you if you like the character, and and I did just because I like Lewis Black. Really, um, he's worth picking up. I don't know if he's worth rushing around like hunting him down. Uh, he feels very not solid. I mean, like he is. He's he's gonna he's not gonna go anywhere, and he's not gonna break him. I mean, like, you're not gonna crush him. He doesn't deform if you squeeze him. He's not that thin, but he is hollow and very light. And again, limited posability. His legs do nothing. Uh, you've just got those arms. And uh, and the, the tentacles, which are the spider legs, which can only come down to about here. They can reach out to get you. They can kind of poke, punch, punch himself in the face, but uh, the ball joints up here don't don't move quite as much as you might want them to. Also, probably the biggest drawback for this guy is that uh, he's very small. In the cartoon, he was much larger than the turtles, and. Uh, and I understand for toy wise they've got to fit in the packaging because they didn't do a deluxe line. They're stuck with, uh, they're sticking with the same size packaging for now at least. Apparently there was talk of doing some deluxe villains that were came in bigger packaging so they could be bigger in scale to the turtles, and that got nixed. Uh, I don't know where that information came from, but I've seen a few people mention it. It may just be a rumor, but I've, I've heard that going around. Regardless, uh, just to the the logistics of putting him in the package, he is smaller. He's a good representation of the character. He, like I said, if you find if you're walking through a store and you really, if you're looking for the battle shells and you find him as well and you want to pick him up, it's worth it. I wouldn't go on a hunt just for him. So I'm happy with him. I like the character, but even then, like as a figure, I'm a little disappointed in it. So I, I wouldn't be breaking down doors to get him. Uh, but yeah, there's Spider Bites from the new TMNT 2013 or 2012, I guess, the current Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles line. Uh, Calls them Kung Fu Frogs. I think that's funny. I actually saw in, uh, I took a picture of it, in Target, I actually saw a game that was called Kung Fu Frogs, and I, and I laughed, because that's what he was calling them in the episode. But there you go, there's Spider Bites from the new Ninja Turtles line.